today we are going to discuss about the topic operators an operator is a character that represent a specific action or process for example it can be a mathematical operation or it can be a logical operation operators can be divided into arithmetic operators bitwise operators relational operators and logical operators Java also defines some additional operators to handle special situations called as special operators. Arithmetic operators are the symbols that are used to perform mathematical operations on operands. They can be used in programs to define expressions and mathematical formulas. They are used to perform simple arithmetic operations on primitive data types. the table list out the operators which are allowed in support or in java so let us discuss about each and every operators with an example program so we'll just for example wise we'll just segregate or separate the group of operators into three groups and with three example program we'll cover all the operators the basic arithmetic operations mathematical operations which we will perform i am grouping all those operators and having in it in a single example program so for to perform all these basic operations we require two input data so i am declaring two variables to hold the values of the two datas and we are going to directly perform the operation by using the operator symbol and we can see the output that we are getting here the value of 10 is assigned to the variable a the value of 3 is assigned to the variable b and i am performing the arithmetic addition operation on the data a and b and the output will be 13 so it is printed in the output as a plus b is equal to 13 10 plus 3 will obtain the value 13 and for subtraction i am just going to do the manipulation on the same set of data so 10 minus 3 will produce an output 7 and for multiplication i am going to use the same data so 10 multiplied by 3 will be getting the output 30 and again 10 divided by 3 will be keeping so, uh, the data as 3 and for modulo division it performs the same operation as division for division it will print the value that is quotient value and for modular division it will print the value that is the remainder value when i divide 10 by 3 the remainder value is 1 so for modular division operator i'll be getting the value as 1 and for division i'll be getting the quotient value so i'm getting the value output as 3 the next set of operators that we are going to see inside the arithmetic operator is compound assignment operator a compound assignment operator is used for two usage that is they can save a bit of typing that is they are the shorter notation for equivalent long forms as well as it can be implemented more efficiently by the java runtime system than the equivalent long form we'll see with an simple expression example so for an example consider a is equal to a plus 4 so you are going to add the value 4 with the data which is available in the variable a and i am going to reassign the same output to the same variable a this particular operation can be rewritten in a shorthand form likewise given in the below expression that is a plus equal to 4 that is i am going to add a value 4 to the value which is available in a and i am going to reassign it to the variable a itself so this can be applied for all the basic arithmetic operation which is available in java that is for subtraction for multiplication division as well as for modulo division so it will add both the uh, it will add the value and again reassign the same value to the same variable for subtraction it will subtract the value and reassign the output value to the same variable for multiplication it will find the product and reassign the same value to the same operand and for division it will divide and the 
quotient value will be reassigned to the same variable or operand and for modular division it will get the remainder value and that value will be reassigned to the same variable or operand so we will see the same case with an example how it is performing so consider a value 7 which is assigned to the variable f so when i perform the operator plus equal to what happens is i am having the value 7 in f 7 plus 3 which is equal to 10 the 10 will be now assigned to the f so now the value in f is 10 that is also shown in the output now when i perform the operation subtraction assignment i will be using the value 10 10 minus 2 is 8 so i will be reassigning the value 8 to the same operand or the variable f so now the value is 8 so here for multiplication the value of f is 8 so f into 4 that is 8 into 4 which is 32 the output will be reassigned to the same variable f or the operand f so that is what printed here in the output now i will be dividing 32 by 3 and the quotient value will be reassigned to the variable f so i will be getting the output as f now 10 and now while performing the modular division i will be having the value of f as 10 f divided by 2 that is 10 divided by 2 i will be getting the remainder 0 so that remainder 0 will be the output for the next operation the next set of operator that we are going to see is increment and decrement this particular operator is unique and it also can be written in the postfix as well as prefix notation postfix in the sense the particular operator can be given in the back of the operand and for prefix notation that will be preceding the operand so this particular notation is an shorthand for an expression x is equal to x plus 1 so for example consider x is equal to x plus 1 this particular expression can be rewritten as x plus plus though both the expression is going to perform the same operation that is it's going to add 1 with the particular variable value and reassign the value to the same variable so we will see the same thing with an example see there is a minute difference between the postfix and prefix notation for postfix notation the operation will be completed but that data will not be available in the same line the data will be available only in the next line that is the updated data for prefix notation it will be implemented and the updated data will be available in the same line of code itself so that is what here clearly depicted in the output see i have given the value of a as 10 and b as 10 now when i print and using the both postfix as plus prefix notation see what is the output when i use the postfix notation the value of a is incremented by 1 now the value of a is 11 but that is not applied until i go to the next line so in this line the value of a is 10 so i'll be getting the output as 10 only when i go to the next line now here the value of a is now the incremented value that is 11 and i'm using it in the prefix notation when i use the prefix notation the value will be updated as well as it will be printed so here now i'll be getting the updated value 12 and the same thing applies for decrement operator also when i print the decrement operator perform it in the postfix notation the output will not be updated until it go to the next line and in the next line it will be updated now it will be again decremented now the updated value will be printed because it is in the prefix notation this is the only difference between the postfix and the prefix notation.